A suspected serial killer on the run for years finally captured. And now with his ties to Charlotte exposed, police here are looking through cold cases to see if he's linked to any of those cases here. Veteran crime reporter Mark Becker reached out to police today after searching through the suspect's history. Mark? Yeah, Erica, the cold case unit here heard about the arrest of that man named Robert Hayes, just like we did not long ago. So they told me that today they're going to start looking back and to see if he might have been involved in any of the unsolved murders here in Charlotte. Police in Florida say this is the face of a serial killer. 37-year-old Robert Hayes was arrested Sunday in Palm Beach for the murder of a woman in 2016. Now police in Daytona Beach say DNA points to Hayes as the man who killed three women there between 2005 and 2007. And between 2007 and 2010, police believe Hayes lived right here in Charlotte. And so today, CMPD's cold case unit launched their own investigation to see if he could be tied to any unsolved homicides here. So we checked court records here, and they pointed us to this house near the airport, which was Robert Hayes' last known address in Charlotte. How long have you lived here? Uh, since October, uh, October 2013. Maria Lopez moved into that house several years after Hayes would have left, but she still occasionally gets mail for him and had no idea about his past until she heard it last night. I have no idea, but I get scared because we have so many mail from these people who used to live here, especially from him. If Hayes was responsible for any serious crimes here, he left no hint of it behind in this otherwise quiet neighborhood but the cold case unit will now be looking for a trail of DNA evidence that could point to a suspect who's been in the shadows for 10 years or more. Now we check with CMPD to find out just how many cold cases they might have from that window of time from 2007 to 2010. They haven't gotten back to us yet, but we do keep our own unofficial list. And I went back and looked and I found about half a dozen cases where women were murdered. And as far as we can tell, they haven't been solved yet. Erica? And Mark, you also learned this process is not unusual. The cold case unit has done this before. Yeah, it's actually pretty standard procedure for the police department. Quite obviously, if they hear about someone who's responsible for murder somewhere else who may have lived in the Charlotte area, they're going to go back and look at them. Perhaps the best example recently was a man named Samuel Little, who was in prison for life in murder for three murders he committed there. Now, he claimed to have killed as many as 90 women, and Little had lived in South Carolina at one point, and police here and around the country did go back and look at some of their open cases to see if Little was involved. It's probably the same kind of approach they'll be taking here, and again, DNA will really be the link, Erica, that will help, the, help them tie Hayes if, in fact, he is tied to any murders here. Erica? All right, hopefully they will be able to close some of those cases. Thank you, Mark.